Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 51 of the section C. So let us have a look. Let yx, x is greater than 0 be the, be the solution of the differential equation. So we are given with a differential equation for which yx is the solution that satisfies y1 is equal to 1 y dash of 1 is equal to 0 then the value of e square y of e is so the problem is uh, asking you the value like this that means obviously you have to find out the solution of this differential equation so if you can see here that this differential equation the it's a variable coefficient differential equation so the coefficients are very much specific so see x is there and its degree is 2 and the order of the derivative here is also 2 x is here its degree is 1 and the order of the derivative is also 1 so what kind of differential equation it is it is called Euler homogeneous differential equation all right so we, we, we also call it Euler Cauchy equation so for this equation we know how to convert this equation into the constant coefficient equation so I will write down and uh, I will write down this differential equation then I will tell you what substitution we need to just convert this differential equation uh, into a constant coefficient differential equation all right so if you take this substitution that x is equal to e to the power z then this differential equation gets converted all right let us write it firstly in this way that you have uh, x square times of d2y by dx2 so if d dash represents d by dz all right generally you write d as d by dx so we are writing d dash as d by dz then what happens this square terms get reduced to this d dash of d dash minus 1 and this one is 5 d dash plus 4 times of y is equal to 0 so now see this is the constant coefficient differential equation and if you will write its auxiliary equation you will get m m minus 1 plus 5m plus 4 is equal to 0 so see you have m square plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0 so finally you are getting that m is equal to minus 2 comma minus 2 are you getting my point so according to this see we are getting roots of auxiliary equation which are identical and they are real so what will be the solution solution will be y is equal to c1 plus c2 so see generally you write x over here but in this case because we are using the substitution we have to write z so c1 plus c2 e to the power mx so m m is minus 2 instead of writing x we will write z so we are we are getting this information now see what is your z z is log x so if you want to convert it into original form so put back the substitution you will get c2 log x then you have e to the power minus 2 times of z so what is z it is log x so see what i will be getting now c1 plus c2 log x and then we have c take this power on the numerator uh, sorry on the on the power of x and you know that e to the power log of something is that thing so you will get x to the power minus 2 all right now use these two things y1 of 1 is equal to 1 and y dash of 1 is equal to 0 use these two things to find out these coefficients c1 and c2 so what you have to do you have to just differentiate it so you will get two equations just put one y1 is equal to 1 in this equation and in the differential equation you will uh, put w y1 y dash of 1 is equal to 0 so after putting and calculating you will get these two so take this as an exercise to find c1 and c2 it is very easy all right just use these two point you will get c1 and c2 so what is our solution finally it is 1 plus 2 log x x to the power minus 2 what you have to find out you have to find out y of e what do you know that log of e is 1 all right this is the basic thing that you know what i used here i will that write that also that uh, see e to the power 
log of fx it is fx all right so i am writing that again if you don't understand that part i am using this to write this all right so y of e will be 1 plus 2 log e see, see log e is 1 so you will get 3 e to the power minus 2 now multiplying e square so what you will get you will get 3 so for this problem what is your answer for this problem answer is 3 all right so if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video right so thank you